Thank you. You had a great first audition. Our decisions really are based on who we think the audience would like to put through and hopefully fulfill your dreams. So the best of luck to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You should be, when you see what they do and how they fly around and they have, there's no net. You know what these guys reminded me about? That actually we all have the best job in the world. And to see your enthusiasm, really just taking it in, that you're on an America's Got Talent stage, these are times I believe when we probably need each other, because trust me, we need you, and I hope we can do something in return back for you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Baby, put your hand on my heart. Put your... My, my oh heart, my, my heart is beating at a rapid pace that I haven't felt before. I'm an NBA All-Star. As a former athlete, right, it's 30 of you guys on that stage. 29. 29. Wow. Let's round 30 sound better. <laughs> I know the practice time it takes. I know the sacrifice it takes. I had this saying that whenever I hit a big shot, whenever I hit a game winner, whenever it was one of those moments, I jumped up on the stand and I said, this is my house. Woo! And today, on this stage, this is y'all house.
the slums of Mumbai to the hearts of America. We unbeatable made it through. But they actually ended up coming forth and although they honored their friend Vikas, the we in We Unbeatable stands for their friend Vikas who ended up getting injured while they were rehearsing. He was paralyzed later and unfortunately he passed away. Not one moment on stage went by where they did not honor him and at the back of their t-shirts they always wore his name. Now before I go into what happened to them when they were on America's Got Talent Champions because they actually came back to fight, check this video out. Tell me, when you were on AGT, did it change your life? Yeah, it did, because we had a live show in Las Vegas, and... They played Las Vegas? Yeah, and uh, movies being made on the journey of We Unbeatable Crew in India. Wow! Is it really? The movie's been made on them. The movie! Can I ask a question? Do you think you're gonna win this time? Yeah, we were very disappointed we couldn't get that title but there's always a second chance in life and we are hoping to get the champion's title and prove our talent that we are the champions. Good for you. Show us and show the world what the brilliance of Mumbai is. Do it. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. I'm so excited for this. So much for bringing such a beautiful positive energy yes. to AGT champions that was absolutely outstanding we needed you tonight trust me every time you come out you do something more creative more interesting I think this act is gonna tour I think it's gonna live forever and I think this has probably been one of the best acts we've seen in Champions this year. I believe it. I love you and I love what you do and I love what it means to you. When you didn't win AGT, the disappointment you had, we felt like a knife going into our heart. But disappointment only lasts a moment. This is a moment. Just 
sit there and think about this moment. Time stands still and I'm feeling so much and it's all right here and I just gotta trust that you're the one. The time has come, so tell me, baby, what's it gonna take? We can be the champions, we can own the night. You have a chance of winning this now, you know that, because yes. you deserve this. Now, they ended up winning America's Got Talent Champions and they made India proud. America's Got Talent Champions is when talents from all over the world who are amazing come and compete. To win the second season of that was a big deal. But unfortunately, you don't really win money. You win only bragging rights. And that's pretty cool, but still. And because they did not win $1 million and they came from the slums, this pandemic has been really, really hard for them. They actually reached out for help to their fans and their fans did not disappoint them. They also wrote in their Instagram post that during the lockdown, it has been very difficult for us. Thank you for giving us a ray of hope in this difficult time. Now, if you wanna support Be Unbeatable, we're gonna leave their PayPal down below. Since they can't perform, but they still want to stay together, they still want to keep rehearsing, we can help them out a little bit, right? We are X1X crew from India. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Which part of India? Mumbai. Mumbai. Uh, what would you do with the money? We would like to help each of our kids to upgrade their lifestyle, to upgrade their future for the education, Good. for the colleges, and for the family. We are X1X Dance Group from India. We have 22 members in our team and this one is the youngest, he is just 14 years old. Basically, we are not just friends, this is like a family for us. Our style of dance is very unique. As we take inspiration from our Indian culture and mix together with hip hop, so this style of dance, it is known as Chama. We practice every day for almost 10 to 12 hours. We don't have proper place for rehearsals. We practice on streets, we practice on parking. time that we all are together, I think that's the time that we find peace and that's the best time of the entire day for all of us. We want our team to make international and to win Britain's Got Talent, to be the winners, to get the title. We all are very excited today. <laughs> well, take the moment and let's hope it changes your lives. Yep. Good luck. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much.
Okay, I mean, I have to say that was exceptional. I mean, looking around the audience and everyone was like this. <laughs> like me. Brilliant. I'm going to go to Alicia. But... I love every aspect of that. The fact that it's cheering, acrobatics, gymnastics, mixed with the street dance, your energy is insane. Thank I you. love you guys. Oh, yes. Damon, it was absolutely on the edge of your seat stuff and, and I think it was just electric, the atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing, guys. Well done. I very much felt like diversity hit this thing for us and we couldn't really beat it. Honestly feel like you just smashed it. I think uh, in years to come, we're going to be using you as the reference point, which I is... I hope so. You're just not as good as X1, X Crew India. <laughs> Delighted to tell you you have four yes. Now we had We Unbeatable in America's Got Talent, but X1X Crew is actually currently competing on Britain's Got Talent. Now we don't know what's going to happen in the semi-finals or if they'll make it through judge cuts, but we do know that they surprised everybody in Britain, which is just amazing. Like just to think of it, We Unbeatable in America, X1X Crew in Britain, it's just Indian power all through. Also, fun fact, they actually made a human pyramid and they ended up jumping 20 feet, which is a lot. I'm not sure how long, but it's a lot. Hello there. Hi. Hello. Hi, who are you guys? My name is Rehan. My name is Shakib. Nice to meet you guys. Tell me, Rehan, how old are you? Nine years. And how old are you? Old, 21 years. Have you flown from India all the way to do this? Yes. Yes. Wow. Well, welcome to America's Got Talent. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about like what it is like where you're from. Paint a little picture of us. They both are from Sikar. It's a small village and there are very less opportunities. So this is very big thing for us mm -hmm. to perform here. So is this the first time in America? Yes. yes. So what do you think about America so far? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yes. America, thumbs up. Yes. Cool, right? So tell us why America's got talent. My dream. It was, let me tell you something, it always was my dream to be here too. And look what happened. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
<laughs> you guys epitomize what this show is about, and it's about family and love and acceptance and talent. Thank you so much. Sophia, what did you think? I thought it was spectacular. I love how synchronized you guys are. It was like watching a mirror, and it looks beautiful. Thank you. Simon. You are, you are so likable. You have fantastic chemistry together. People are gonna root for you. Simon, do you wanna start the voting? I would love to, please. I want to be your first yes. Thank you so much. Sophia? I'm going to be your second yes. It was adorable. Thank you so much. Ali? I'm giving you your third yes. A lot of people don't know this, but Shakir and Rian were actually ghosted. When the entire world went on lockdown, uh, America's Got Talent made a conscious effort to reach out to the contestants they wanted back. They reached out to Bad Salsa, but Shakir and Rian had no information. I actually personally reached out to Shakir to see what's going on when I didn't see him in judge cuts. And he told me that America's Got Talent did not contact him at all and he had no idea what to do or how to perform. So even though they made it through the audition round, they did not hear back, which is not cool and America's Got Talent, we're calling you out right now. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. You can sit on the box behind you. Gorgeous. My name is Soba Niganaya and I'm 10 years old. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Britain's Got Talent and to finally be like on the show is overwhelming. I just can't still believe it. <laughs> There's lots of older people here today and I think I'm one of the youngest. That is really scary. <laughs> is it you alone? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so brave. On to the star and have a chat with the judges. Good yeah, luck, go for it. Good luck, have fun, enjoy. I'm feeling really nervous about the audition. This is definitely the biggest thing they've ever done in my life. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you. You look fabulous. Thank you. What's your name? Sal Bunniga, but you can call me Sal. Hello, Sal. So how old are you, Sal? I'm 10. And whereabouts do you live? I live in Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. And are you excited about being on Britain's Got Talent? Definitely. And what are you going to sing for us today? I'm singing Trolley Song by Judy Garland. So you're into show tunes. Would you like to be on the West End stage one day? Yes. The stage is yours. Thank you. Collar and my high top shoes on my hair, but high up on my head. I want to lose a jolly, I want a trolley and lost my heart instead. Yeah! Clang, 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 when the trolley, ding, 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 when the bell. And I stopped the song. When my what? heart springs from the moment I saw him, I fell. Okay. Love you, and I didn't love the song. I'll tell you why, because it's the sort of song I imagine if David ever released a single. <laughs> honestly, that's what it would be. And I couldn't get that out of my head. I've just got your song list here. Can I hear the Greatest Showman song? Because then we can hear a different part of your voice. Bless her. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment 
hand Set off a dream in me Getting loud now Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you Oh, the shine of a thousand spotlights Oh, the stars we steal from the night sky Will never be enough Come on, girl Never be enough Towers of gold are still too little Benika, that is a mountain of a song, and you conquered it. Thank you. I cannot get my head around the fact that you're 10 years old, mm. standing up there like a little professional. Thank you. It's quite an old-fashioned voice that you've got, which I love, and you've hit every single note. Well Thank done. Ah. So, Panika, I've got to be honest with you. You absolutely nailed it. You're a gutsy little thing. You really, really are. I am going to kick this off with a mighty yes. Thank you. So proud of you, darling. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Absolutely yes from me. Thank you. You got four yeses. Yes! You did it! Well done! She was a sweet girl. That was amazing. That was fantastic. Every single person <laughs> on their feet. How did that feel? It was awesome. <laughs> Fun fact, if Simon Cowell stops you in the middle of a performance, that actually doesn't mean you're a bad singer. It just means he sees something in your voice and wants to test it out. Now he tested Supernika and she proved herself. Also, A.R. Rahman, who's an Indian composer, actually tweeted about Supernika, which is a big deal, and we all know that. Now, we don't really know what happens because um, Supernika is yet to perform again. Everything went on lockdown, so Britain's Got Talent got pushed apart a little more. But she's going to perform again, and I have a great feeling. Also, this time, we have two, X1X Crew and Supernika, competing at the same time on Britain's Got Talent. So for all you know, we might actually have an Indian winner for Britain's Got Talent 2020. Now, thankfully, I don't have to vote because I'm in America. But if you guys had to vote, who would you vote for? Let me know in the comments down below. Wow. That's cute. Hi, who are you guys? I'm Sumant. And I'm Sonali. And we are called the Bad Salsa. Bad Salsa? Bad Salsa? Bad Salsa. You're trying to keep the ball low, I see. 
The bar. The bar. Isn't it the ball? No, the bar. The bar. Thanks. Are you going to do Latin salsa? It's actually bad salsa. But it's salsa. It's salsa. But it's bad. Literally, it is bad salsa because it's Bivash Academy of ah. Dance. B-A-D, bad salsa. Oh, it's an acronym. Got it. So, where are you from? We are from Kolkata, India. How old are you both? Uh, I'm 20. And I'm 15. Oh. oh, my gosh. And why America's Got Talent? So, back there, uh, Sonali's father is a farmer. Yeah. And he used to earn a dollar a day. So she has an amazing journey to this stage, performing uh, in front of this audience and you lovely judges. We are feeling very proud and very blessed to stand over here. I want to thank you, first of all, for flying so many hours to come for this audition. And I wish you the most of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Oh. Acronym BAD, B A D. You are the opposite of bad. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You are surprising. You are energetic. That looked dangerous. It was fast. It was entertaining. I loved it. Thank you. Sophia, it was exciting. I wanted to dance, but then I got scared because I couldn't take my eyes off you. You look beautiful together. Thank, Thank you. you. I loved you guys too. I have seen so much dance on the stage, but there's so many moves that you guys did that I truly have not seen before. You know what it felt like? You know like when you watch a movie and you press fast forward? Yes! Because <laughs> it was so fast <laughs> in a fantastic way. Thank you for flying over, choosing our show to be on. It means a lot to us because without people like you, we have no show. So this was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Give you a first yes. Thank you, ma'am. Sophia. Second yes. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Simon. You have four yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bad Salsa is from Kolkata, India, and Amra Iktu Iktu Bangla Bushtebari. If you caught that, Talk to me in the comments down below. Now, Bad Salsa has actually competed on India's Got Talent and won that. They also ended up competing on Britain's Got Talent, the champions. 
So competing is nothing new. They've moved to the semifinals of America's Got Talent 2020. We don't really know what happens next, but we have our fingers crossed. And for all you know, we could actually have an Indian winner on America's Got Talent. Now, we've never had an Indian winner. We've had America's Got Talent champions in Indian winner, We Unbeatable, but this time history might be made. So if you're gonna vote for her, this is the time. Keep tabs on it. If you made it this far, hi, I'm Raganka, and we're doing actually a new segment on Talent Recap where we show all the auditions but also give you information. So if there's any other country you want us to cover, talk to me in the comments down below and I got you. Also, how did I do? Was I okay? Like, let me know, because I always need that Indian love and I always want to know what you guys think. And there's actually this one question that I wanted to directly ask you guys. Every time we put Indian performer, Indian singer, Indian dancer, in the comments, people are like, why are you mentioning India? I'm mentioning India because I'm proud, I'm Indian, and I want people to know that it's an Indian performer so that Indians who are just scrolling through YouTube can find it. Now, I wanna ask you guys, is that offensive? Because we don't do it for all of them, we try to, but sometimes we don't really know their nationality, sometimes they just say American, so we don't put American in the title. So is that something that bothers you, or do you actually like it? Because I think I like it, but I want to know from you. Oops, 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 I forgot. If you want to follow me, it's Madanka Chavla on Instagram. Come say hi and don't be a stranger. Also, make sure you follow Talent Recap on all the social media. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Also, head over to talentrecap.com where we talk about everything AGT and BGT so that you know what happened to Super Nika, X1X Crew, and Pat Salsa. Hey you, stop swiping on dating apps and start swiping through Talent Recap's playlists. We've got compilations, we've got red carpet interviews, what's hot videos, and recap shows. And I think it's time we take our relationship to the next level. I'm talking hit that subscribe button right now. No, I'm totally kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. You should still subscribe so you're up to date on all of our latest content. And thanks for watching.